Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be doing a colour analysis session with my dad here. I'm going to be analysing his colours. I am not trained in colour analysis, but I will be looking at his best colours to the best of my ability. So, first, we're going to analyse dad's undertone. So, we're going to look at cool versus warm, and we're going to look at this the seasons of summer versus autumn because of dad's deep but more muted features as he, he appears to me. So first we're going to use the neutrals of white versus French navy. So this is a cool white with French navy. And the French navy will act as a jacket. And I'll get Oyster, which is a warm version of white, versus with a dark brown. Now, if you don't notice, okay, so Dad, if you don't notice a difference, that's fine. But I will guide you when necessary when we go to the next trips. Okay, so. We have warm, cool. So you like the cool so far? Okay, I'll show you again, just so you notice a difference. You might have reactions during this analysis. You might have strong reactions when we get to certain colours. So that's warm, cool. So you already prefer the cool. Yeah, because I'm noticing with the warm, you go a bit yellowish. Your under eyes have more shadows under them. Your eyes also recede and you have what looks like shadows going on. And everything just looks duller. Whereas with the white and French navy, you look fresher, cleaner, your eyes are popping. You look very striking in this. Yep. This just looks cleaner and fresher. Totally agree. If you suited the warm, you would look more sun-kissed, warm and even. But if you suit cool, you'll look more crisp and clear. And in this case, you look more crisp and clear. You can even see it in the camera here. And then your eyes are popping. It's absolutely amazing. We're already seeing a difference, which is quite uncommon when it comes to the first part because it can be quite difficult to notice the difference. So next I'm going to do the greens. So go for jade green versus olive. So the jade green is cool from summer and over the top I'm going to put the dark olive which is warm from autumn yeah you see it don't you it's far better ah oh, absolutely yes absolutely we're already noticing a change mm. oh <laughs> You just look a bit um, drawn into it. Just you look a bit colourless. Even your lips have gone an odd colour. Yeah. You've gone a kind of greyish blue. You look like you've been in the heat for too long in this warm colour. Here you look fresh and like you've uplifted. It's Def amazing. Definitely. Absolutely amazing. So you already know what's the difference with these ones. Now. The one that can be very telling is coral versus raspberry. So, what should I say, raspberry versus coral? Because that's the order we're putting them on in. That down a bit. And raspberry is cool from summer and from winter. It's one of those crossover colours. Nice. You already noticed something? And then we have coral, which is from autumn and spring. 
another crossover colour. Mm. Oh, grey with that on. You look like it looks separate from you, this. It just doesn't go with your lips, your cheeks, your eyes, your hair. It just clashes. See, all of the yellow and the green has receded immediately, and your lips look a better colour, your eyes are popping more, your eyebrows look fuller. You look more awake. Yep. Mm. Here we just, we've lost you completely. The shadows going on up here as well. Just, yep. Your eyebrows don't look as full. Your eyes have receded. You've got dark circles under your eyes. More of this colour. Even in the even in the camera, I notice your, your skin tone looks fresh. Fresh and lovely. Okay, so the pinks now we go for the yellows so we have primrose from summer which is cool these are the yellows okay so primrose cool it's okay then we've got the saffron mm. from autumn too over the top it is it, it just it just it takes over and it just doesn't go well with your features, you sink into it. Definitely. Here, we found you again. And this may not be the best colour, but it's better than that. Just... Don't see me at all, just the colour. Yeah, absolutely. So now we've done the yellows. Very quickly, this kind of, this process for the undertone phase. Now we've got two blues. We have cornflower from summer which is cool and we have the warm peacock colour from autumn okay so this is warm this is cool it's better. immediately you brighten up in this one this one sorry this one just makes you look yellowish mm -hmm. and your lips have gone uneven under eyes look tired uh, Looks like there's a bit of shadow going on up here. Can you see? Yeah. All better. gone. You should replace the shadows for blush and a nice lip colour with more even under eyes and eyes popping. Amazing. And lastly, I'll do the reds. So we have burgundy from summer and winter, another crossover colour. Cornflower is actually called bright blue from the spring palette as well. So it's one it's more neutral but still cool enough to be cool. So burgundy from summer and winter. That's and nice. we have brick red from autumn. See the colour. Yeah. Pretty much. You see the colour before you see you mm. and it's too warm. You've gone yellowish. Here, it was more balanced, and immediately your eyes come into focus. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the drapes one by one, warm at the top, cool at the bottom, and we'll see the changes. So this is warm, uneven, cool, stunning, warm. You just you just see that straight away. It's like where's your head gone? Here it's like wow we've got you back. Here on green mm -hmm. with the saffron. Here look more even with the primrose. Even if it's not the best. Coral, this just looks separate from you. Raspberry, stunning. We have olive, dark olive. This just makes you look muddy and tired. Jade green, very uplifting yeah. in comparison. We have the dark brown and the oyster, which just doesn't do much for you at all. And we have the white and French navy, which looks really fresh. It does. And makes your eyes really stand out. So looks like we have diagnosed you as having a cool undertone. So now we're going to move on to the intensity phase. 
summer versus winter because they are both cool seasons. Okay, so both of these seasons will work to a certain extent because they are both in the same undertone but one is bright and one is soft. Winter is bright, summer is soft. With the first one, we won't notice a change so obviously because we'll have soft white and French navy as from summer as the first one. This is going to be soft. These are your soft neutrals. And, under, and over the top, we're going to put the pure white and traditional navy so, or navy from the winter palette these are going to be the bright neutrals and if you don't notice a difference that's completely normal so we have navy and white french navy and soft white so you, you don't like this one no i don't really see any difference you don't see a difference okay so Do it again, see if you notice a difference this time. Mm, it seems to give me more colour. This one. I think you can do both. I don't think there's a great deal of difference with this particular one. So we'll move on to the greens now. So we got we have the jade green from summer. Soft. And over the top we have a light emerald, which is from winter. The difference is a bit more, it's a bit subtle, but this one's a bit bolder compared to this. You see, this is a bit lighter, hazier, yeah. even a bit bluer than this. So this one versus this one. You see the colour first. I don't mind either. No, it's definitely one. It's a bit on the fence again. These next two should be a more of a giveaway. So we have more duck egg blue, pastel aqua colour from summer. And over the top we have a turquoise blue from winter. Then we have cornflower blue versus an electric blue. So cornflower is soft, electric blue is bright. Why is that? This looks better colour. Yeah, this just looks like a wall in front of you, this electric blue, compared to this. Yeah. It's like we see a head emerging from a softer colour rather than this one. This one just seems a bit much. Yeah. Yeah. Even on camera, you look fresher in the cornflower. Chops me head off with big bright blue. Yeah, it's too much for you. Then we have burgundy from summer and winter, but it is going to be softer 
install it. That's nice. Yeah, I like that. That's lovely. And we have Scarlet. Yeah, this really does. I like the electric blue more than this one, actually. Mm. I find this easier to to tell. Oh, yeah, yeah, we get you back immediately. Oh, yeah, that's just, that's too much. Yeah. You actually go a bit of a funny colour in this one. And we have blue pink from summer, soft, versus magenta from winter yeah this just cuts off your color completely yeah. this one you get your color back yeah. now we're going to go back through these drapes one by one winter at the top which is bright summer at the bottom which is more muted and soft and see what we see so this is winter this is too much for you we see the color before we see you rose more delicate fresh scarlet looks like a wall is in front of you yeah blocking the view we have burgundy which is softer which is it's the best much color. better of electric blue which is okay but it's a bit blocky yeah. It's like it's a meter ahead of you. Then we have cornflower, which much better. is much better. We see you again. You look delicate, fresh, youthful. This is just too much. Too much. And you actually kind of go yellowish in this one. Duck egg is fresher, much lighter. <laughs> Light emerald. Not it's bad. not too bad actually I quite like that Jade is uplifting yeah we have the white and the navy from winter and the soft white and the French navy from summer which is slightly better on it which is slightly better than the navy and the white but you can wear both yeah so you are summer so now I'm going to rate your colours with through the summer palette. Okay. Okay, we're going to start off with soft white. I think this is an elegant choice. Definitely, I think that you could wear it as a t-shirt. You could wear it um, anywhere, but not from head to toe because I feel like you need a bit of colour or a darker neutral to make this work yeah so this will have to be possibly 50 percent one 50 percent then we have french navy this is stunning absolutely gorgeous on you i think this is double star absolutely i think it's fantastic looks nice it's absolutely amazing on you 10 out of 10 and i would rate that at 75 percent because it's different for men versus women because men wear more separates than women because we don't have like a whole dress usually we wear t-shirts trousers that sort of thing then we have dark blue gray lovely gold with the eyes and everything this is the perfect blue gray for you yeah definitely gorgeous another 10 out of 10. next we have primrose i'm not fussed on yellow but it's about the best you'll get yeah it's, it's okay but it's nothing where i would wear close to your face this just doesn't really do all that much for you it's a bit too warm 
for you, just like with me, if I was to wear it. This just makes me look a bit mm. yellowish. Mm. So I think this will be worn at 25% and away from your face. On to the next one, which will be powder blue. Think that this is lovely. I prefer the darker, but yeah, I prefer I prefer darker so far as well. A bit more brightness than this. This seems a bit light. We can compare it to another blue, which will be a sky blue. And immediately, it's better. We we look at you and we see more focus. I would say that this is much better than this this just seems a bit too light you go out of focus a little bit yeah compared to this one i actually would say that this could possibly be a 10 out of 10 color but we'll see compared to i still prefer the slightly dark cornflower which is even brighter this i think is perfect yeah this one we kind of lose you a little bit more. Then with the powder blue and yeah. it's, yeah. I think out of the three of the blues, the cornflower is the best one. Cornflower is 10 out of 10. I would say sky blue is 50% uh, and the cornflower blue is at a 50% but at a bit lower rating. Then we have Air Force Blue. And we have a Delph. That's nice. Oh, yeah, I do too. Maybe marginally, I think this one is better. This just seems a bit, just a bit heavy. Yeah. This just gives you, it has more colour to it and... Dips me a bit. Yeah. It, this just has a bit too much depth, I think, for you. This, I think, as well. You could definitely wear this as a suit. Yeah. Or wherever you like. This is beautiful. This is just a bit heavy. It goes well with your eyes. I like it, but it's not as good as a Delve. So I think this, 10 out of 10, double star, 75%. This one, I would think is, we'll rate this a double star, 50%. Hyacinth. I think it's lovely on you, definitely. I'll compare it to amethyst and smoked grey, which are in the purple area. So compare it to the hyacinth and what is it? Like both of them equally. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we have smoked grape. Yeah, I do as well, actually. This one just seems to give you a bit more colour. This just seems a bit heavy. It, your face is lacking a bit of colour. Yeah. Compared to this one, I think this is just 10 out of 10 for you. I think it's absolutely beautiful, and it's more mid-range compared to this one, yeah. which on me is perfection, because I have more depth and more brightness. Got the purples done. Now we'll do jade versus sea green. It's a jade here. It's nice, it's a little bit brighter than I 
Yeah, it's a bit like the light emerald. Yeah. Just a little bit softer. Say green. Yeah, it's better. That is better. Definitely. You become more focused. Got more colour. This just seems a bit wishy washy in comparison. Yeah. This is, I'd say, 10 out of 10. Definitely. Definitely. This one just, I think, would be 50% at a lower rating. But sea green, I think, could be worn as a suit. Then we have... Pastel Aqua. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Definitely okay, but I think you could do with a bit more colour. Bit more colour. And we'll do rose versus raspberry. So we have rose here. Nice. I like this one. Raspberry. That's better. Yeah, yeah, it has more for you, doesn't it? More colour. Yeah. This is just a bit, a bit light. Yeah. In comparison to the raspberry. Definitely. This is a bit light. Mm -hmm. So raspberry double star. This one one star. All red versus burgundy. All red. Me, that looks a bit warm. For you. Then we have cherry. Then we have burgundy. Still prefer the burgundy. Why is that? Seems to give me more colour. See, I actually think this is a, maybe a tad heavy. Mm. I like them both. I like both of them. Mm -hmm. I think that it's quite an even thing between the cherry and the burgundy because they're better than this one. Oh, this yeah. one's just too light, bright yeah. and warm Definitely. compared to the other two. But I'll put on the burgundy. First, then the cherry, and see what we think. Do the opposite way around. Yeah, it yeah this just looks a bit, a bit heavy. Yeah. I actually like a bit of a lighter for you. Yeah, this just seems a bit, yeah, a bit heavy. But I like it. It's both better than that. Yes, absolutely. This is the lowest rate and I would give this 25%, 50% at a lower rating. This one I think is double star. So now we've rate, rated all of your colours and we're gonna I'm going to drape all of your best colours around you so we can see the final result and the sub-season. And this is you in all of your best colours. It looks to me like you are all the bright summer because you need more colour. So you definitely have a lot of coolness. You, your dominant characteristic I would say is cool because they're very cool but they're also very they're also quite bright for a summer as well. So he's all this is dad in all of his best colours. Look at the camera. And see your eyes pop and your features stand out. You look absolutely amazing. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave any respectful comments or questions or video requests down in the comment section below. Please subscribe for more content, and I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Bye.